In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the gun tight offense to perfection in Madden 23. And we're going to be taking a look at the Detroit Lions playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10. The link is in the description below. You'll get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player because it's going to show you not only great schemes, but also principles that can cross apply to whatever formation that you want to run. Now today's concept we're taking a look at is the shallow cross concept, one of my favorites uh, to talk about. It's this PA slot cross play, and we're actually going to make some adjustments to this play and really build around one route that you might be sleeping on, and I think is one of the better routes in the formation. So for PA slot cross, we're going to just jump on the field here. You do need tight end apprentice. If you don't have tight end apprentice, that's fine. You can get by without it um, because you can just put the guy on a smart route and in route. But what you're going to do here is you're going to take Taysom Hill and you're going to put him on a post. And then we're going to take Debo Samuel and we're going to put him on a fade or a, uh, I'm sorry, I apologize, a streak. Now, this play is best ran to the right side of the screen, uh, like with your tight end to the wide side. Uh, but what you'll see right here is that this crosser is super underrated. Most people are sleeping on how good that route right there really is and as a very consistent read in Madden 23 because you can throw that against pretty much every defense and have some semblance of success. Now, C.D. Lamb's route is kind of a very versatile route. Whatever you want to put him on is fine. So, like, if you want to leave him on this little deep kind of corner that's fine because that corner is pretty decent against man to man um you could re hot route him if you have hot route master you could put him on a corner route uh which i actually really like to do but what really i think is special about this play i want to come back to it is this route to calvin this slot cross route is really valuable it's really valuable because you can run it against man and zone and basically what we're looking at when we run this play is we're looking at the linebacker over the tight end does that linebacker go to the cross or the post? If he goes to the post, then we're going to take the cross. If he goes to the cross, then we're going to probably take our post route. So I'll give you an example of them going to the crosser. And again, this this um, this read here, you see they stay down. Now we can throw that post over in this area, which is really, really effective in, in tight because most of tight, if you think about it, um, most people in tight, they're trying to basically run flood route, you know, bench over and over again, right? And bench is a great play, but you need something like this shallow cross series to really, I think, make your offense even better. Now, the throw you just saw me make is why I think this play is really underrated, and I'm going to show you why. Um, because most people don't really think about this with this play. So what you're going to get here, I have cover four hard flat. So what you're going to see here is when he comes here, because this is a – uh, an angled drag, it's going to be more like a slant. So at this point right here, I can high point and pass lead it up and over. And you see this trajectory on the ball can get this into a place where only a receiver can catch it. And then you could turn it up for more yardage. So against hard flats, they can't really stop it if they do run hard flats. Now, what if they run curl flats? You're going to notice basically the same thing, except now I'm going to free form it down uh, and basically get it to the leverage. So I'll show it to you one more time. It's a little bit of a bad trajectory. But what you'll see is with freeform, you can do a lot with this play. So you see right here, right here I see he's got that underneath window. I can freeform it down and outside and, again, put that ball where only my receiver can catch it. And so a play that really is covered, if you will, um, is actually open. And that's the beauty of a really good Madden play, when it looks like it's covered, but it's actually open. Obviously, quarter flats aren't going to defend it very well. I've noticed even that zone drop, um, you know, zone dropped purple zones, any kind of purple zone, tend to struggle to defend this play. So, that, so now you're in a position where it's hard for you to run zone drops right so there's just a lot of value um in this crossing route now i want to show you something else about press man to man if you're playing any kind of press man uh this is a very helpful ability that i haven't talked about it too much in this video and that is the short um let me flip this so we actually get actually i don't need to um but that is the short out elite so what you're going to see with this is if they did if they don't have safety help over top if you put the short out elite player on a streak, which Debo Samuel has short elite on a streak, you're going to see that he's going to light up 
and then he's going to basically be able to get over the top um, of the press man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what I would recommend is, you know, again, obviously you're going to go through your standard pro progressions, right? Whatever's open's open. But you see how open this is. Um, and again, they need to have safe, some type of safety help. So now the other thing about this is with free form, you can kind of throw this away from the safety help. So like right there, I kind of threw it into the safety, but you'll see like right here, because he beats him so bad, I can free form it up into the outside. And you see that middle third can't get there and he can't put himself in a good position to be able to defend this. When you combine that with this fact that I'm about to show you out of the PA slot cross and we run the play maybe like maybe like this, for example, right? Now this route to Taysom Hill is going to get some separation up in the middle of the field. And then you see how this can start to break down just a lot of different coverages. So the PA slot cross, shallow cross setup or something like this. Another thing you could do is if you have, um, you know, I wouldn't hesitate to put this guy on a streak and motion him out or put him on a C route. When you put a C route out there, you want to definitely smart route that C route. It'll make it a little better. Um, you know, but you can really hit break down the man coverage meta with this play. So PA slot cross, one of my favorite plays out of tight. It's going to be the power play for this scheme. The power play is the play that you must make go, the play that you will make go, the play that you will run again and again and again. And that is a very important piece. You can run this play against every single coverage. I've shown it to you pretty much against every coverage. I'll show it to you against match here. And you're going to see that we're going to have the tight end crosser wide open over the middle. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the ebooks, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is in the description. And uh, for more gun tight offensive tips, uh, make sure to get that ebook on the Patreon site.